Man who killed two Holmes County nuns is sentenced to life in prison. As WJTV's Candace Coleman reports, his victim supporters left him with words to reflect on. Rodney Sanders felt guilty to four charges, two for capital murder for killing the nuns, one burglary into their home, and one larceny of their car. Your plea today spares you from the death penalty at the hands of the state of Mississippi. However, it does not spare you from the death and judgment of the Lord. From today, Rodney Sanders will spend the rest of his life behind bars, but before being sent away, he listened to statement after statement from the family and friends of his victims about how much the pair meant to their community. There are other patients who have been so traumatized by the death of the sisters that they cannot yet come back to the clinic. I was surprised that he, at least whenever we spoke his name, he did acknowledge that we were speaking to him. So that was quite honestly more than I expected. Sanders originally pled not guilty to stabbing Sister Paula Merrill and Sister Margaret Held in their Durant home. The decision could have resulted in the death penalty. But since the murders in August 2016, the nuns' religious community have stood against execution for him. And this is what Paula and Margaret would have wanted. They would definitely have not wanted him to receive the death penalty for what he did, no matter that it took their lives. Because we believe in Christ and his gospel, we forgive you. Sanders' wife was expressionless during the court proceedings, but the nun supporters embraced her teary face afterwards. She didn't cause this to happen, and we're so sorry that people have been so mean to her and her family. I mean, they were victims too. The nuns' organizations say they've never experienced a violent death like this here in the United States, and they hope that it never happens again. In Holmes County, Candace Coleman, WJTV 12.